good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, speech by the president of Western Armenia, Armenia Kapramian in Geneva, Kanaj Sham Armenian Church of Shushi destroyed by the Azerbaijanis, is being transferred into the Orthodox Church under the name of renovation. Expert from the interview with the Council, Dr. Kilermo Karamanyan, the Minister of Defense confirmed Azerbaijan fired in the direction of Khachik village. Sharnak regions of Western Armenia are becoming desertified due to the tree cutting. Road construction works will begin soon in Akhal Kalak. In 1820, this day, Revont Alishan was born. Human Rights Council, Expert Mechanism for the Rights of Indigenous People, National Council of Western Armenia, Congress of Armenians of Western Armenia, Geneva, 15th Session, Point 3, Study of Treaties, Agreements and Other Constructive Arrangements between Indigenous Peoples and State, including Peace Agreements and Reconciliation Initiatives and a Constitutional Recognition. Mr. President, as this is my first time I'm speaking at a 15th Session, let me congratulate you on your election. I also want to thank the experts for the report that was submitted Submitted to us with paragraph 3, but I know that our legal dossier, which was sent on January 31, 2022, and you confirmed receipt of the letter, has not yet been taken into account in this report, so I am still waiting for your attention. The Armenian people are not only one of the first and indigenous peoples, but also one of the first states that stood at the origins of existence of state structures around the world, operating today within a framework of the UN. The issue of Western Armenia is certainly a delicate one, since it is a native state state recognized in 1917-1920 by more than 20 states, but still under the territorial occupation. These states are still subjects of international law today, including Russia, France, the USA, Japan, Great Britain, Italy, Turkey, Argentina, Brazil, Greece and Romania. These states, on the basis of several agreements and even treaties, including arbitration award, have pledged to recognize the state of Western Armenia, its international borders and official documents that I have presented to you in a legal case. This is the line with a constructive arguments regarding the indigenous population subjected to genocide, a genocide that has killed more than 2 million people and which has not yet received any effective compensation other than international recognition for the victims without real consequences, although contracts have been signed. The proof of this is the Severs Treaty ratified by some states and not even ratified by applied by other states. Indeed, Mr. President, the legal problem Western Armenia, its indigenous population and civilization is an example for the study of all indigenous people people who are considering the possibility of applying the right to self-determination and self-government. The problem is relevant since it was denying internationally recognized rights that Azerbaijan allowed itself to unleash a military conflict against the Armenian population of Artsakh in 2020, which led to more than 15,000 victims. Continuing to destroy the legacy of thousand-year-old indigenous civilization of Artsakh to this day and declaring to listeners the international law doesn't exist, therefore the genocide of Armenians continues because the fact shown the genocide will continue until the crime is punished. However, even if the technical conditions allow it in part, the fact is that it's really impossible to erase the existence of indigenous Armenian people from their land and country forever. Therefore, the time has come to build a common future based on reconciliation, taking into account the obligation of working with us on the condition for their application in various states directly connected with Western Armenia since 1917, under the treaty signed during and after the genocide of Armenians. Thank you, Mr. President, Armena Abramian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia. The Armenian Church of Hovanes Makartich or Kanajam in Shushi was completely destroyed by the Azerbaijanis and now it is being transferred into the Orthodox Church under the name of renovation. This is stated in a statement of the State Service for the Protection of the Historical Environment of Republic of Artsakh. Kanajam Church, which found a of considered as Russian Orthodox, church has turned into a gallery. Evidence has been preserved according to which in 1840 by special order of the authorities all the Armenian living in Muslim environment of the very intact were moved to Nerkinta. 56 families who have a stone-built wooden roof church of St. Astvazadzin in Nerkinta. The document says that Armenians were subjected to pressure from Muslims, which led to their resettlement. After moving to Verinta, a wooden chapel was built in new place, which was preserved until 1848, when the stone church of St. Hovanes the Baptist was built in its place. Western Armenia states another case of vandalism, which this time is being carried out in Shushi. The deliberate transformation and presentation of a structure belonging to another culture into another structure is also considered vandalism. Such cases are very common in the territories of Western Armenia occupied by Turkey, where churches and monasteries were turned into barns or used for other purposes. 
All Armenians come from the so-called Western Armenia, which is Armenia that was historically dominated by the Ottoman Empire. Our ancestors were the victims of the first known genocide of the 20th century, which is still unpunished. All those Armenians were all the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren of those victims, and this is the people that today are the citizens of Republic of Western Armenia. Except from the interview of the consul Guillermo Karamanyan, conducted by the radio program Not Everything is What It Seems, AM 1300, the program is called Not Everything is What It Seems and is broadcast on AM 1300 radio. The interview was on Saturday, July 25th. People were very excited to learn about the existence of Republic of Western Armenia. We talked about the original people of Republic of Western Armenia and how it is that all Armenians have two states recognized by public international law and we asked for the recovery of our land and we made the claim public. In the following YouTube link you can listen to the full interview. On July 4th, around 9 p.m., the units of Azerbaijan armed forces opened fire various weapons, particularly at the Armenian combat positions located in the Khajik village of Vyotsto region, as well as on the roads leading to the village, as a result of which the car of community leader was damaged. The Ministry of Defense reports that the fire of the Azerbaijani units was silenced by the actions of Armenian side. There are no casualties on the Armenian side. Western Armenia calls on the opposite side to remain calm and not violate the rights established by international norms, otherwise the soldiers by the Armenian border is ready to battle and the damage to the enemy can be very heavy and catastrophic. Deforestation continues in Besta, Judea and Gabar, mountains of the Sharnak province of Western Armenia, as part of the military operation launched last year. For two years now, new areas have been added to the deforestation in the areas under the control of the soldiers every day, especially in the Besta region between Sharnak and Sagert. The authorities are silent about the operations that have begun in 15 districts. Applications complaints submitted by residents of the district for the Forestry Department of Urfa were rejected due to the fact that their military territory Turkey seems to deliberately continue their ecological massacre in Western Armenia. On such a scale, cutting down trees will soon lead to very serious environmental problems. The electronic tender for the implementation of road construction was held in Akhalkalak and the villages of the region. The contract has already been signed. Work will begin in about a week. According to Mayor of Akhalkalak, work on operating the roads will begin before the end of this week. Since the central street is being repaired, we will start work from other streets of the city to reach the central street. The repair of sidewalks and other works will already be completed, Mayor Melko Makarian said. It is very important for Western Armenia to carry out such works in indigenous Armenian territories because it gives gives people the opportunity to stay in their territory, preserving the Armenian identity. Armenian poet, historian, and translator, member of veteran congregation of Mkhitaryans, Revort Alishan is one of the initiators of the romantic trend in Armenian literature. He was born on July 6, 1980-20 in Kastadnapol, where his name and surname is Kerope Alishan. Since 1838, he was been a member of congregation. At the age of 16, according to the church charter, he was renamed Revort Alishan. Since 1833, Alishan has lived permanently on the island of St. Ghazar. Having never been to Armenia, he planned to devote separate volumes to all 15 provinces of Armenia and Cilicia, but managed to write only large-scale works, Shirak, Soswan, Ayrarat and Sisakan. He introduced the Armenian religious deities and beliefs in the country. With his huge scientific heritage, more than 45 volumes, Alishan made a great contribution to the development of national science. Ravond Alishan died on November 9, 1901 in Venice. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.